I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo, the Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early what I seek through scripture study and prayer line on the 17th day in July 2018. Let's dive into the word, y'all. Let's go to Romans. Let's go to Romans. Twelve. <clears throat> and let's uh, start the first verse. Twelve and one. Look what it says. It's I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the uh, uh, of uh, uh, of Yah, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. What they call holy and acceptable unto Yah, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of Yah. Um, we, we should be on a quest to prove something. And what we should be on a quest to prove is that which is good and acceptable and the perfect will of the Most High. That should be our goal. What's up, Alvin? Bless you, man. Call me, man. We need to touch bases. Shelly uh, Tatum, bless you. Good to see you on. But um, we should be on the quest, right? To prove that which is good and acceptable and the perfect will of the Most High. <clears throat> um, in order to do that, we should be all in. That's why the word says, you know, I'm begging you, I'm beseeching you uh, by the mercies uh, of the Most High that you present your bodies. And the presentation of your body should be um, uh, holy. You should be presenting yourself, your person, holy unto Yah for his service. You're, you're, you're willing to be you. You're not coming to him just so you can go to heaven. You actually not only respect the Most High and love the Most High, but you respect his mission. You respect his position, what he, what he stands for. And you're, and, you're, and you're showing up for presentation to present your body. So you can prove something. <clears throat> My throat, y'all. <clears throat> now, now it's a it's an honorable thing, and you can imagine, you know, a parent seeing his son, his daughter showing up, not only because you know they love their parent, but they love what their parents stand for, and they want to stand uh, with them with what they stand for and what the mission is. And, it, and and so they, they 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 do a presentation, you know, they just, you know they, you know they put their clothes on, they put their uniform on, and they, and they show up, you know, with that state of mind. And that's the state of mind that Paul, y'all, uh, Saul, is, is 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 presenting right here. I, he said, you know, I'm begging you. It's, it's by the mercy of Yah that. You're able to present yourself to him. It's by his mercy. And you should present your person as a living sacrifice. You snatching yourself out of lascivious living. You snatching yourself out of a, a lifestyle of, 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 of wickedness and sin. And you're doing a presentation. You can trust me. You can use me. And you're presenting yourself a, a holy and acceptable on the and it's reasonable. It's not like um, you showing up for service is unreasonable. It makes total sense to someone that has an attitude of gratitude, that's appreciative of the fact that the Most High has snatched you out of the darkness into the marvelous light, and now you're showing up for His service. Will you show up for a service? This presentation is a spiritual presentation because we used to live according to the course of this world and according to the flesh. The course of this world 
has a religious position too. The course of this world will, you know, bless their food. They will pray in the morning. But, but they won't live nothing. They won't they won't walk in obedience to the most high. And that and that presents that presents the issue. See, see, see the the, the, the issue is uh 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 folks have uh you know folks don't mind being religious folks don't mind being religious is the presentation of having the true relationship the true relationship with the most high then invokes a self neglect that the evil wicked nature of our, ours we're willing to neglect that part of us deeming it to be dead, deeming it to be wrong, the way we were living. All of sin that comes short. When you have the revelation that you're a sinner as well, then you should be in favor of the death, burial, and resurrection, the death of who you used to be, your wicked nature. And you want to be resurrected to walk in the newness of life. So you're willing to present your body as a vessel of honor Meet for the master's use that he might be able to use you in these last and evil days. The conflict come when we're not willing to do that. When we come to the most high, we want him to do something for us. But we're not willing to do anything for him. We want him to fix our finances, fix our life, fix our marriage, fix our relationships. We, we want him to do stuff for us. Uh, but it's not too, too often that you find people uh, that want to do something for him. And the reason why we can't please him in the flesh, because the flesh, our flesh will kill us. Our fleshly nature will cause us to be evil. So the only way that we can please him is if we deny our flesh and we're willing to follow him. We're willing to be obedient to him. So Saul is begging here, right? He's begging us to present our bodies a living sacrifice, and he's saying it's reasonable. It's a reasonable service. It's the only real type of real worship is to present our bodies, you know, a living sacrifice, right? And it says, be not conformed to this world. This world is a natural. This world don't mind saying the right thing. It's doing the right thing that becomes difficult. Folks don't mind the outer appearance. Folks is... Folks could be on the, on the brink of trying to kill themselves, but they will present to you like everything is great because folks have this surface that, you know, folks can be broke, but they'll spend their last money in, in renting a car. So when they pull up, you think they're doing well when inwardly they tow up from the flow up superficial. And unfortunately, that state of mind has uh, 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 creeped into uh, 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 the religious world to whereas people have a form of yawliness but deny the power thereof. They pretend to be loving and kind, but they're really hateful and divisive. And it's time for us uh, to, to, to stop being conformed to this world, having a form, looking a part, being a hypocrite, a play actor. Be not conformed to this world, to this church world, to the course of this religious system. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You will renew your mind from the natural to the spiritual. The, you, you, there, there is a natural part of salvation. There is a chosen natural people. And, and Yah's not going to take back even his natural promise to Abraham. It's twofold. There's a natural part of it and there's a spiritual part of it. First natural, then spiritual. But the most important part is the spiritual piece. Being saved 
in the inner man being saved inside of your soul, becoming a new creation according to the spirit. That is by far the most important. That's what this race is really all about. It's having a spiritual relationship with the Most High that is not just verbal. It's not just an outer appearance. It's not just honoring Him with your mouth and, and, and praising Him with your lips, but your inner man, your heart is far from Him. No. It's not about um, uh, obeying Yah according to carnal commandments written on stone. But he wants his word written in the tables of your heart spiritually. It's not saying verbally, I love you, because not everyone that come on to him and say, Master, Master, shall enter. But it's he that doeth the will of his Father. It, 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 it's, it's spiritual. It's an inner relationship. We got to somehow be able to study the Most High from a natural standpoint follow the bloodline from a natural standpoint, watch the Most High keep his promise from a natural standpoint to, to Abraham as he fulfills the most important, which is the spiritual piece of the covenant. There's a spiritual that supersedes even the natural. So be not conformed to this world. Having You don't want to base stuff on a natural there is a friend that stick closer to you than a brother, the scripture says. In other words, your, your, your natural family, uh, you didn't have no choice with that. You were born into that situation. But there are some people that you will meet that is not the physical bloodline, but the relationship that you have with them is, is a bond that cannot be, come on, y'all. When you choose who your brother is, when you choose who you live your life with, when you choose who you spend your time with. That, 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 that is a closer bond because it's based on relationship and not the forced relationship to come with the blood. And that's the difference. It is the difference. We got to switch. We, look, look, look. We got something to prove. And in order to prove it, we got to switch our position. The first birth was a natural birth, but we got to be born again. And when you're born again, the second birth is a spiritual birth. You got to be born of the water and the spirit. The water represents the natural birth. And the, and, and the second birth, which is the spiritual birth, it, it, the spirit represents the second birth. Being, being born in the spirit, being born, being taken from from a carnal relationship to a spiritual relationship. Being transformed from living life from a natural standpoint. From what you see, what you smell, what you taste, what you hear, and how you feel. That's your first existence. It's natural. But being transformed by the renewing of your mind from the natural relationship to a spiritual relationship. Not just saying I love you, but being able to spiritually show that I love you. Not drawing down to him with your mouth. Natural. Walking around with commandments uh, on stone. Walking around with a, with a Bible, a big Bible in your hand. When what's on the Bible pages should be written in the tables of your heart. <laughs> Of your heart, not this heart, this heart pumps blood. Of your heart, it's your thinking. So Saul is begging for us to do a presentation to present our bodies. You got to present your body a living sacrifice. And when you present yourself, it should be holy. It should be holy. It should be acceptable. And it's reasonable. Holy, you shouldn't be... You shouldn't be high. You shouldn't be drunk. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be evil. Present your body so for the master's use so he can use you. He'll have you go witness it. He'll have you go feed people. He'll have you go help. He'll have you give the ride. He'll have you buy the shirt. He'll have you buy the shoes. He'll have you sit down and have the conversation. 
And, he, and he'll have you do it in love. He'll have you go out of your way for somebody because you're presenting your body a living sacrifice. Living mean is working. Living mean that your, your sleeve is rolled up and you're ready to do something. You're not just talking a good game. You're not going to see somebody uh, hungry and, 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 and naked and you just say, go in peace. You're going you're gonna to give them some clothes. You, you, you'll feed them. You'll pray with them. You, you, you'll get involved because you're a living sacrifice. You'll physically do something because faith verbal is nothing. A verbal faith means nothing because faith without works is dead. Talking a good game means nothing. You got to do something. Don't tell me you love me, but you won't even support the ministry. Work me to death. <laughs> Have me preaching, uh, but but you but you won't support the ministry. That's not love. That's that you talk you talk a good one. You talk a good one. If you're about it, be about it. <laughs> be not conformed to this world. Worldly thinking, worldly positioning, a worldly standpoint. When you worldly, you don't you don't help nobody. Ain't nothing in the world but the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. That's not of the Father, that's of the world. It's all carnal. It's all self-serving. Uh, 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 it's, it, it's about self-preservation. It's about me, 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 me. Uh-uh. To live this life, you got to be selfless. You got to know that you can cast your cares upon him, knowing that he care, and he got your back uh, uh, better than you ever could. He can do more for you than you ever will be able to. If you trust him, then he can use you to help others. Your whole agenda will change. You, 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 you'll leave the carnal state of being into a spiritual state of being. That's why he said you must be born again. Being born again is you mentally being born. You mentally trust in Yah. You believe that the Messiah, the Mashiach, died on the tree for your sins and that he rose again to justify you and you confess it and now you can become a new creation, a new creature in him. And the second creation is a spiritual one. It's not natural. You're not running around here just saying stuff because it sounds good. You speak it from the heart. When your heart is renewed, go through a, a heart renewal process. When you speak out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. You have a new heart. So, so when you speak life and death is in the power of the tongue, you'll speak life. Because it came from the heart. You meant it. He's begging you to do a presentation. Present your body a, a living sacrifice. You roll up your sleeve and you're willing to do something, not just say something. You're willing to do something. If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, both is verbal and physical. You'll do you you you'll say uh, what you're gonna do, and then you'll do it physical. You'll say it, confess with your mouth, then believe in your heart. It, it, it's now a part of your your being. It's it's your mission. It's your life mission. You confess that you believe that the Messiah died for your sins. Now it's your life mission to follow him because your heart is involved. And he's begging us by the mercies of Yah that we present our bodies a living sacrifice. Yah didn't accept upon the Yah, which is our reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world. Somebody need to mute their phone that I chimed in. But be not conformed to this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Renew the way you think. If you think a certain way and it goes against the word, don't you hear yourself when you talk? If you belong to Yah, Yah is letting you know what you're saying. Do not line up with my will. That's why we go through the mind renewal process because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. You're saying stuff that's coming out of the way you think. And you need to go, be going through a mind renewal process because the way you think does not line up with his word. And if the way you think don't line up with his word, then what you say ain't going to line up with his word. You need to listen to yourself talk sometime. And you answer yourself, does that line up with the will of Yah? And if it don't, then, then, then forget trying to fix the way you talk. You better fix the way you think. Because if you fix the way you think, you, your, your talk will change.
You got to go through the mind renewal process so you can prove something. We got something to prove. And you're going to prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of Yah. And the perfect will of Yah is spiritual. The perfect will of Yah is to walk in love. The perfect will of Yah is to be redeemed and rescued from yourself. Being called out of the darkness into the marvelous light as an individual. There's something bigger going on all around you. And please believe me, that's Yah's business. He got it. And what he will do is when you get yourself together, when, when, when you're perfected, then he'll use you to help others. When you get your stuff together, he then can use you. You need to first get yourself together. You need to go through the mind renewal process. So then afterward, he can use you to help others. But you got to get yourself together. There's all kind of good stuff going on. Yah is doing a work in the earth. And he do it, he do it on an overall big. If you look at, if you look at a bunch of dots on the paper and, and then you back up. And then they begin to form into something, then you back up, then you back up, then pretty soon you see the whole canvas is a whole big mirror, it's a whole big painting. And the farther you get away from it, the more you can see the whole big thing that, that's, being, that's being painted. And Yah will give you a paint job and have you putting some dots on there. You're responsible for the dots that he have you putting on the mirror. But when you back up and see that we all painted this big picture of salvation. This big picture, he had ready writers, men moved by the spirit of the, the, of the Ruach HaKadosh wrote the scriptures. And when you, when you back up, you, you get to 66 books, and you add, throw the Apocrypha in there, then you got to 80 books. And there's even, even more books, but as you back up and you're reading them, it paints this big canvas. But if you get closer to it, and down to an individual, they were living their part. They were writing their part to this bigger picture. They would not be able to write their part if they didn't present their bodies a living sacrifice as an individual. We're, we're, we're all members of one body. And if you do your part, if you run your lane, if you learn how to forgive yourself, learn how to love yourself, learn how to follow Yah yourself, he will use you in the bigger scheme of things. But he'll also be able to use you as, as, as an individual. He will rescue you as an individual. We're, we're members of the body in particular. We're individuals, but we also work a part of a, a, of a whole big body. And we got something to prove. Can you prove that Yah is a spirit? And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Can you prove that? Can you prove that that's good? Can you prove that we should walk in the spirit of love and forgiveness? Can you prove that? Can you prove what's acceptable? That Yah will agree with your life. He'll agree with how you think. He'll agree with what you say. What's acceptable to him. Everything is not acceptable to Yah. Everything that's going on is not acceptable. Folks is doing it, but that don't mean it's acceptable. Everything that's going on is not acceptable with the most high. But we should be proving that which is good and acceptable. The things you say, how you position yourself, how you swear you going to do things. What, what, you, what, what you say you ain't going to take no more. Is that acceptable with y'all? Because we need to get to the point that we went through a mind renewal. Look, you didn't come with the st a state of mind to prove what's good and acceptable in the perfect will of y'all. That's not what you came to the table with. You came to the table in need of a mind renewal. You got to go through a mind renewal. You just can't get in the boxing ring and start boxing. You got to go through a conditioning, conditioning renewal. You got to learn how to do the moves. You got to learn how to block. You got to learn before you hop in the ring. We got to go through the process. And when you find that you don't have the wind, when you find that you, 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 your cardio not up to par, your muscles, your strength is not up to par, your skill level is not up to par, don't be surprised when you first start. But if you train, if you train, if you go through what you're supposed to go through, 
If you present your bodies to the gym, then you can train. Then you'll be fit to get in the ring. And you should be able to see that for yourself. That's why you should be looking in the mirror of the word and being honest to examine yourself. And when you examine yourself, if it's not lining up with the word, then you need to continue to go through the mind renewal process. Don't you listen to yourself? If the word tells you you should be doing something and you're not doing it, can't you see you're not doing it? If the word is telling you to do something and you don't do it, don't look for false doctrine that gives you excuse that you don't have to do it. Don't look for a doctrine that tells you once saved, always saved. Don't look for a doctrine that tells you Jesus did it all and you ain't got to do nothing. Don't look to be bitten. You're going to bite yourself. You're going to mess yourself up. Don't willingly put yourself up under the serpent's doctrine that, that you shall not surely die because you surely shall die because the word said the wages of sin is death. You going to die. Don't look for a way out. Look for truth. Certain things will be taught will rub you the wrong way, but is it true? Is it truth? Come on, y'all. Be not conformed to this world, to this worldly religious system. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of the way you think. The problem is it is is in the way you think. That's why you got to go through a mind renewal process. That's why you got to be born again because you got something to prove. You got to prove that which is good. What's acceptable? What is acceptable with y'all? What's good to y'all? Do y'all know? What's good to y'all? What's acceptable to y'all? What is his will? What is the perfect will of y'all? Do you know it? The perfect will of Yah is the second Adam, the spiritual Adam, the quickening spirit Adam, not the first natural Adam that sold Yah for his wife, not that Adam. He was a brilliant Adam. He named everything. He was super smart. He knew how to take care of the earth, but, but, but he was natural. And, 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 and he got caught up in his emotions and he sold the most high out. Which will teach you that when you're carnal, you live by your emotions. You live by how you feel. But when you're born again, you don't live by how you feel. You live by what's right. And what's right don't feel good to your emotions most of the time. Huh. Whole lot of stuff we don't do because it's just wrong. But when you carnal, you'll do it anyway. Because you're into pleasing your flesh, irregardless to what y'all say. Irregardless to what the word say. That's why we got to present our bodies. We got to know what the mission is. We got to present our bodies a living sacrifice, trusting the most high. I'm alive and I got a whole lot of life still in me. And, 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 and the life that I have, I'm going to dedicate it to the most high. So, so I can be meat for the bastard's use in these last and evil days. I don't have the right to go around and lay it up. Bumping and grinding on mattresses. That, that's not my call. I, 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 the bed is under fire when you're married. But if you ain't married, uh, stay off the mattress. Present your bodies a living sacrifice. Meat for the master's use. And you got to be holy. What they mean by holy anyway. You got to be holy, which is acceptable, uh, which is acceptable. And it's your reasonable service. It's no, you don't deserve a applaud. That's reasonable. He died on that tree for your sins, rescued you, called you out of the darkness into the marvelous light. It's reasonable. Present your body so he can use you to help somebody up. You don't have a right to cuss them out. You don't have a right to bend them over and spank them. Tapping on them. Kissing on them. Touching, rubbing on, lubricating them. You don't that ain't that they don't belong to you like that. Get your hands off them and give them the words of eternal life. Don't damn their soul to hell holding the truth and unrighteousness. You got the word, but you'd rather kiss and lick on them. Present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable on the yacht, and it's reasonable. And be not conformed to this world. The course of this world. Don't, don't, don't roll with them. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind because you got something to prove. You need to prove that Yah 
is alive. He's not dead. He's alive in you. And he's still working in these last and evil days. He's still calling people out of the darkness into the marvelous light. You need to prove what true love is. All, 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 look, in my closing, this eschatology, and he is doing a big thing. He's in the process of waking up Israel, and he's revealing all kind of stuff. But please understand, the, the process of waking up Israel is waking them up spiritually. They're going to wake up spiritually. There is a natural people that belong to him without question. And the problem with them now is they're carnal. He's waking them up spiritually so they can go through the mind renewal process. So they can prove what's good and acceptable and the perfect will of Yah. And the perfect will of Yah is to walk in love. Y'all be Baruch and Barak and Shalom. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity for this sermonette. We pray that your word will forth with clarity, falling down the souls of your children, spring up everlasting life. Enemy is fighting my devices <laughs> and the platforms that I uh, 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 teach on. But mo the Most High is in control. Continue to send your word with clarity that your children, the body, may grow thereby. We trust, believe, and thank you in the matchless name of Yahushua. I'm see us when we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. Super easy to go witnessing, y'all. All you got to do is push share. That's it. If the word blessed you, then, of course, you believe it will bless somebody else. And if you're willing to share it on your on your platform, if you share on your platform with the Most High, that would be fantastic. If you're looking for a good ministry uh, uh, to um, sow into and you deem that this could be it, uh, go to PayPal and, 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 and uh, put in uh, my email address, DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-M-A-N-N, -N, 5857 at Yahoo.com. And we're on um, the conference line right now. If you want to talk with us, give commentary on what you heard, uh, call 302-202-1102, extension 815648. That's 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Y'all be Baruch. Baruch Shalom.